Welcome to Forum 2019 Live. I'm Ron Painter, CEO for the National Association of Workforce Boards, and I'm joined by a longtime friend, Ed DeJesus, DeJesus yes, sir, Solutions. Ron. It is great to see you. Yes, sir. Yes, Thanks sir. Thanks for being here. We've been, no trying, we've been trying to connect for a couple of years. Yes, indeed. So it, I'm glad to be uh, here. It's the fun thing about being able to do this, sit down, sit down with you. I want to talk about something I know is passionate for you and has been for a long time. Let's talk about youth employment. Yes, indeed. Um, what are you seeing? I want to go back and say, what did you see? What kind of progress are we making? What's left to do? First of all, Ron, thank you for having me at the conference. No, it's it's a great. wonderful conference, a lot of great information. Um, and I'm here with the purpose of helping workforce boards understand the number one asset in workforce development that we're not talking to kids about. What is that? That's social capital, right? Because it's not uh, what you know, it's what? Yeah. It's not it, who you know, it's who you knows who you, you and likes yeah. you that gets you a job, right? And educating young people about the importance of not only building social capital, but helping employers understand the importance of spending it. So when I'm looking at the history of workforce development, we covered credentials, we covered skills, we covered work experience, we covered financial literacy, but we're not talking about social capital. So how do you get people to talk about social capital? How do you get young people to, to get that kind of uh, understanding or that kind of confidence? Well, I think it's about getting adults to understand what we mean when we say social capital. Okay, what do social we mean when you say that? <laughs> social capital is not networking, right? Networking is an activity Social capital building is a measurable outcome. And how we help young adults, or adults understand this, is think about yourself, right? You would agree, and I think everybody in here would agree, that everyone needs a will, right? Yeah. If you die with, and we had a lot of celebrities recently die without wills, and it's a travesty, right? Because you accumulate all these financial assets, but how do you leave those assets to your children? Well, think about social capital as an asset. If you develop all these connections over your career, like you, do your children know that you know Ed De Jesus? And how are you strategically transferring that asset to your young people? Right. And I think all, all adults will say, yes, I need a social capital legacy plan. Well, if that's important for you to make sure that you leave your social capital to your children, isn't it equally important to help young people develop it? And I think from that point, I get people's attention and now they're willing to talk about how do we measure social capital. Okay, so how do we measure social capital and how do we build social capital in young people? Well, the first thing we have to do is educate young people about social capital. Now we know Making that- Making them aware of how they're, how they, what it is and how they're building it? Well, everybody has social capital. It's but not, we don't necessarily know that. Right, we don't not, know okay. it and we never measured it. So one thing is helping programs understand the importance of measuring social capital when young people come into the program. Because when we look at labor market data, we look at a lot of young people get jobs on their own, right? right. The program is very instrumental in helping them get skills and credentials, but somehow the young person negotiates the job on their own. And that's usually, that's what we call the indirect placement rate. The indirect placement rate, some systems are up to 50%. That means young people are getting a job on their own and it's usually through people they already knew. Right. So why not find out who those people are when they come into the program and use that asset to help young people connect to jobs? That's one. But when we look at labor market data and the right management, the manpower research firm uh, uh, placement organization did a study and 45% of Americans get jobs through their strong ties or weak ties. A strong tie is somebody you know on a first name basis, and a weak tie is somebody your strong tie knows on a first name basis. So the, part of this is taking inventory and helping young people understand how to take inventory of their, of their social assets? Right, right. So they can right, utilize their strong ties to help them get jobs and understand the importance of reaching out to weak ties. Because if 25% of jobs come through major companies like Monster and LinkedIn and then 23% through placement agencies, the number one job search strategy has to be social so capital it's, building. It's me. Right. It's my, yeah. Okay. And, and programs have to help young people in understanding the importance of social capital building, but putting together a structure to help them do it. Let me give you an example. I know you'll understand this. I interviewed four- It's gotta be simple if I'm gonna understand. Okay, no, okay. no, no, you're, you're, a bright, <laughs> you're a bright man. I spoke to 40 summer workforce programs. 
about what type of investment do you place in helping your students stay connected to their worksite supervisors? You know the answer? Zero. Zero. Yeah. That's a wasted like social capital, right? Okay. So what does that take for workforce systems? And that's why we do the Social Capital Building Institute to give or help workforce systems think about this concept of social capital. When you talk about measuring social capital, it's very simple, right? So I'm thinking about Ron. Ron, you know Ed De Jesus, right? Or let's say my son is here. You know little Eddie. I know, they're you all just here. I love it. So, he was, so we turned a contact into a connect. He's now your connection. But you have no social capital. So we measure one, your compassion. Ron, we just did a study and we spoke to 700 people in the labor market about, do you know anyone who got a job based on the compassion of another? I imagine the immediate answer was no. What do you mean the compassion? Somebody just handed me a job? No, 70% said yes. Compassion, somebody understands your struggle and makes a willingness to help wow. you. And then when we ask them, did that compassion turn out good for the giver? 80% said yes. There was, wow. there was no repercussions for helping them and it turned out well for the receiver too. So, so the first part of social capital is compassion. Does Ed know your labor market goals? And does he have a willingness to help you achieve them? That's number one. Number two is assistance. What type of assistance can Ron Painter give Ed De Jesus in terms of his goal right. that we just said? R, reciprocity. How can I help National Association of Workforce Boards? T, how do we build that trust? And then find what type of information we're sharing. So we can measure those five elements of social capital building with any job seeker. The challenge comes for workforce systems to help employers understand that they have a role in sharing in, social in capital sharing, with young people. That. Yeah. And it's not about giving young people jobs. It's about getting your employees to share labor market information with young people. Because it's so much easier to go for a credential. Think about the motivation you have for going for a credential when you now know somebody on the other side of the labor market Absolutely. who's ready and able to help you put that credential right. to work. Who personally understands the value of that credential no, and your abilities. No credential without the connection from now on, Ron. No skill without the connection. No education without the connection. And that's what our message here is with workforce boards. I got one it more is, thing before you go. And it's always good to see you. Last, yeah. Last thing. Shoot it. We're giving out free copies of the book okay. to all members here who want to get it, who want to participate in our social capital building webinar. And, and let me say, American youth are lucky that Ed DeJesus is, is working out there for them. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you, brother.